Today we're cooking up a crispy, savory plantain treat. We don't want the yellow ripe plantains for this recipe. We want the green unripe plantains. Chef Buck here and today I'm gonna cook up some tostones because I got some green plantains here. Unripe green plantains. In fact, I got a lot of plantains. Come over here, camera girl. These are more ripe. And I'm keeping separate uh, from my plantains over there because I didn't want these here to ripen up. But when you're making tostones, you want to make sure and use green, unripe plantains. These are very savory. Whereas the ripened plantains, as they ripen up, they get sweeter and you can use those for different recipes. But this is going to be a twice fried tostone, which is a plantain that is going to be very similar to a potato. Like a french fry or a tater tot or something like that. Kind of a fried snack. Now, you just can't peel this like a banana. To peel a green plantain, you've got to use your brain and your muscles. Because there's a smart way to do it, an easy way to do it. You can just slice out the ends and just give it a little slice lengthways like this. Here, boom, boom, boom. And if you give it another slice right along the same way, then it'll make a strip. And you can just, oops, too skinny a strip maybe. Oh no, I fucked it up. Alrighty, alrighty, take two. Alrighty, we'll, we'll switch it over here to the other side of the plantain. Alright, so what you want to do is you just want to make a little slice along the length of the plantain. And then another slice. It makes a little strip. And then you can just get under that strip and peel it right off. Woo! Just like that. Or you can go ahead and put a spoon under here or your finger and go ahead and peel it around like this here. And just go all the way around the plantain and get the skin off like that. But you can do it in strips or you can go ahead and just do one strip and then peel it like that there. But it can be very awkward peeling a green plantain. But in the end you'll have a couple of banana looking thingamabobs. But they don't taste like banana at all because they are unripe. So they don't have any sweetness in them. They're very savory. They're very much like a potato. Now to make tostones we're going to go ahead and slice them into discs. And I like to do it about a quarter of an inch thick. The tostones are actually going to be thinner by the time we finish cooking them. But I don't like them overly thick. But you can definitely adjust the thickness or thinness to whatever you desire. So we got a whole heap of sliced plantains. And like I said, this is a lot. You know, you can just do one plantain. But if I'm going to fry something, you know, if I'm going to get oil in a skillet and fool with it, I'm going to do at least two. Alrighty, so I got me a skillet. I'm going to put it on medium heat. Heat me up a little bit of oil. Alrighty, so I got my oil heated up. Go ahead and slide in a bunch of these plantains. And you want to make sure your oil is hot enough that they start cooking right away when you put them in here. And we're going to twice fry these. So we're going to fry them and then we're going to take them out and smash them and then fry them again. But we'll go ahead and give these about a minute on their own. But I'm going to go ahead and season one side of them here. And I just got some garlic powder right here. And you can use whatever seasoning you like. But I like to use kind of a savory seasoning with this here. A lot of times I like to put a little bit of chili powder on them uh, for heat, but I'm not this time. And then we'll put some salt on them later. So let them fry on one side for about one or two minutes. And then we'll go ahead and flip them over and fry the other side up a little bit. Ooh, I smell that seasoning. That fried garlic powder really smells boondaba. All right, so I'll give them another minute or two on this side. And while they're frying, I went ahead and got a plate and a paper towel ready because we're going to drain them in just a few moments. And if you love fried foods, you're going to love tostones. You know, if you like french fries, any kind of fried potato, definitely give this a try. I mean, you're not going to live as long eating this. But, I mean, those years come off the back end of your life. What? From what I've observed. <sighs> people seem to be miserable at the end of their lives. I mean, if you whack a few years off the back end. Good Lord. You know, is it, is it that bad? So there, we fried them up a little bit on both sides. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get them out of my pan here. Boom, they boom, boom. smell delicious. So I still got my hot oil. So while my oil's still hot, my skillet's still hot, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the rest of my plantains in here. Then I'll do this batch just like the other batch. Give it a minute or two. And while those plantains there are frying, I'm gonna go ahead and take the ones that I fried once and put it under anything you like and then give it a smash. Since I cut mine about a quarter of an inch thick, you know, it's like a silver dollar size. But you can make them as thick, smash them out as fat as you like. That's to taste. You know, I've had some very thick tostone, but I actually kind of like mine just like this. Make them as thick or thin as you like. All right, so by the time I get those smashed, it'll be time to flip these. 
And I forgot to season these before I flipped them, but that's okay because the oil actually had a lot of seasoning in it from when I seasoned the other ones. Excuse me, camera girl, but I will go ahead and throw a little bit of more garlic powder on here because I like a lot of seasoning. I like my testones to have a lot of flavor. And I'm going to serve them with a dipping sauce, a garlic dipping sauce. Garlic and testones, you know, that's mm. like a, That goes together like two hands going together. <laughs> Turn this camera on yourself. Look at you. You're eating all the Tostonis and they're only half Tostonied. All right, come on, camera girl. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get these out of the oil. We'll let these drain for a moment. And I'll go ahead and return some of my flat Tostonis back into the skillet. And this is probably going to take me three skillet fools to do this now because I've smashed them out so they're a little bit bigger than when I started. Or maybe not if camera girl keeps eating them. <laughs> And now we'll go ahead and let these fry until they're golden brown, until they reach a nice color consistency that we like. And while those are frying, I'm going to go ahead and uh, smash my other batch of Tostones. You, know, you want to do all this, you know, while they're hot, while they're malleable. All right, I'm going to give them another flip, or I'm going to take a look at the bottom. It's starting to color up kind of nicely. Looks good enough for me. Frying them probably about two minutes on each side now. But again, until it gets to that color that you like. Alrighty, so we've done these about two minutes each side. Really nice color. They seem very crisp. So I'm going to go ahead and get these out of the pan. And these are all through now. Yay! There's my tostones. They just need to drain a little bit and cool off so they're not lethal to eat. And that's all there is to making the tostones. You know, just boom, boom, boom. Twice fried. But I'll go ahead and fry up the rest of these here. I'm going to turn my... Uh, stove off, throw them on my plate there, and there you have it. A big old batch of plantains. And while they're hot, you can go ahead and salt them up to taste. God, they smell so good. Alrighty, so there you have it. Super crispy, delicioso tostones. Now to make these extra perfect, we gotta have a sauce. So we got a little garlic mayonnaise lemon dip there, kind of an aioli. But we use mayonnaise instead of egg yolk. Boom, boom. I know you love these things. Oh, I can hear it crunch a little bit. Mm. I think the key to great tostones is seasoning. It goes super duper heavy on the seasoning. Go to my plantain playlist. I'll have a link around here somewhere. You know, check it out. Check out some plantains, dude. Crispy, delicious. If you want to print this recipe, go to myfoodchannel.com. You can print all our recipes over there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the future. Bye-bye. See, this is why you don't want to uh, cook up two plantains. <laughs> For just two people. Yeah. Because you end up with this situation right here.